How Expert Top 10 Blacksmithing Tips How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Blacksmithing Tips. Number 10. Keep the fire burning. No matter what type of forge you have or what fuel you're using, make sure to pay attention to the airflow and temperature. This is the most fundamental key to all blacksmithing. If your fire is too hot, the metal will melt and deform. And if your fire is too cold, the metal won't be heated enough to be movable at all. This is especially important with solid fuel, such as coal as sometimes blockages and airflow restrictions can cause a fire to heat metal unevenly or even go out completely. Number 9. Watch for the glow. It's so easy to get excited when blacksmithing and take a piece of metal out of the forge before it's heated to the correct temperature. Not only will metal that's too cool be impossible to move, but this can also cause hammer marks and pitting on your metal. Make sure your metal is heated to the correct temperature. Past the cherry red color and right to the dark orange glow is the point where most metal is at the perfect temperature to be worked. And if you can't see the glow well enough, make sure to get some shade. As the glow is easier to see, the darker it is. Number 8. Ashes to Ashes Always make sure to keep ashes clear of a solid fuel fire. Ashes can cause blockages and restrict airflow to your fire making it put out less heat or even go out completely. Always have a safe place clear of flammable debris to dump your ashes, as ashes from a hot fire almost always contain some small amount of burning fuel. Number 7. The right tools for the job. All aspiring blacksmiths need a forge. Depending on what you want to make with your forge, however, you may need a lot more than that. Most tools required for specific jobs can be bought or even made along the way as you increase your skills as a blacksmith. But some things you'll need to start out are an anvil, a hammer, and a pair of tongs. With only those three tools and a forge, you can make almost any tool or equipment you'll ever need. And you'll be able to repair and maintain the tools that you already have. Over time, you may require many different types and sizes of hammers and tongs, different sizes and styles of anvils, or even different forges better suited for specific tasks. But for the beginner, a simple, inexpensive setup is pretty easy to acquire, and you can always add on to it as you progress. Number 6. Hammer Away Don't be afraid to put some force behind your swing when hammering a piece of metal. It's easy for a beginner blacksmith to be a little shy about how hard they hit, especially when working on something they really want to be good at. But hitting too light can cause pitting and scarring on the metal and can take up a lot of valuable time that could be spent working on the next project. It is possible to hit too hard and break or completely deform a piece of metal, but it takes an incredible amount of strength if you're working with any kind of steel or iron, the standard blacksmithing materials. It always pays to be mindful of the type of metal you're working with, the hammer's weight that you're using, and the desired thickness of the completed project. Number 5. Get Rhythm Blacksmithing often requires a lot of focus and attention to detail. But when you're working on a project that will take several hours to complete, it pays to get comfortable. As you learn and gain experience, the muscle memory of the motions that you practice can help guide you into an almost trance-like state, where the fall of the hammer and the crackling of flames is all you hear, and you can almost feel how the metal is moving. Remember to adjust your stance and swing so that you get the most force from the energy you expend. After all, when you need to hit something 10,000 times, it's always best to make sure that you're as efficient and effective as possible throughout the entire process. Number 4. Strike While the Iron is Hot When you're working with hot metal, time is always against you. 
It's very important to have a workspace set up to be as fast and efficient as possible, so no time is wasted between pulling the metal out of the forge, hammering away, and getting it right back into the forge for the next round of heating. For a piece of metal to be made into a completely new shape and thickness, it may need to be heated and reheated dozens or even hundreds of times. Shaving off even a few seconds from every heating can save you hours of precious time in the long run. Number 3. Cool it down. One of the most important steps in certain blacksmithing projects is tempering. And even if your project doesn't need to be tempered, it will still probably need to be cooled enough to be handled by your bare hands at some point. So, it pays to remember a few simple steps to ensure that you don't make any time-consuming mistakes so late in the process. And the most important rule in cooling down metal is perhaps the most fundamental part of all blacksmithing. Patience! When the metal cools too quickly, it can crack, snap, or even explode in some extreme cases. So always be sure to cool down your metal slowly and evenly. Even if you're in a hurry, you may need to start your entire project over from scratch if you don't. Number 2. Safety Working with an open flame and superheated metals is extremely dangerous. Always be sure to have a water supply and fire extinguisher at the ready. Keep your forge clear of any combustible materials and keep your workspace as clean as possible to prevent an unwanted, uncontrolled fire. Fire isn't the only hazard. However, it's very important to work with metal in a well-ventilated place as some metals can produce fumes that are very harmful to humans. Number 1. Have fun. No matter how many mistakes you make or how much time it takes to gain the skills you desire, remember to have fun along the way. Every mistake is a chance to learn something new and all the time spent learning is only worth it if you're enjoying yourself. So don't be too hard on yourself and just enjoy the process. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you. Have an amazing day and take care. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.